Hi, I'm Allie Ray, host of Be Can Pulse, and we're down here at BGSU seeing why these robots are the talk of the town. I am joined by BGSU's Director of Communications and Marketing, John Zachridge. Thanks so much for being with me today. Yeah, absolutely. Happy that I can make it. So tell us about the BGSU and Starship Technologies collaboration you have. Yeah, for sure. So with BGSU Dine, we found a really great partner in Starship Technologies. Um, it's one of the foremost uh, robotic delivery services within the world, honestly. Um, so last March, um, we started working with them, brought them onto campus, had a really great opportunity to uh, connect with them. Um, and bring the services on campus. Super duper easy system, a lot like Uber. The students make their order, place a pin, drop where they want the delivery. As long as it's a safe location, we're good to go. With social distancing and contactless deliveries are all the rage now due to the pandemic, was BGSU ahead of the curve for those when this launched of March 2nd in 2020? It's definitely one of those things that we weren't excited about how we were ahead of the curve, unfortunately, but um, the robot started on campus March 2nd, so we had about two full weeks of them on campus with full operation before um, COVID and everything happened. The students who were still on campus still have them be able to get deliveries because there were some students who weren't able to go home. Um, so that was a really cool tool that we were able to use to kind of in, uh, encourage that social distancing. Um, then around April 22nd, we actually expanded off campus. Um, so through collaboration with the city, we kind of were able to expand that to about a four mile radius. Um, we had a few different things that were available on there just to provide that and it was great because like I said, it's not a great thing that that's how we found out how useful they could be, but it was extremely useful. What has the reaction been like for students and also neighboring communities to the university? Everybody really loves them. Um, there was a little bit of hesitancy at first just because um, it was something new. Um, it's funny now because at first students were taking selfies with them, taking photos. Now the students are just kind of just like, second like they're just like oh yeah robot fine but when you get um, prospective students on campus or community members who haven't been on campus who see them they still get really excited now we have to ask do they have names they do not have names um at least not official names the ones that i know i've heard students and some faculty use is uh, roberto and roberta um so they get some creative names we also love to see um just the interaction that students have with them i love that that is just pure just joy and fun that they're having with these what is a typical day look like for these robots? What does that look like from the time that they wake up and go to sleep? But really they start off about 6 a.m. every day starting over at Dunkin Donuts. Um, there's a fleet of currently about 55 I believe that are currently running. Um, so they wake up, get put out into the university as orders start picking up. Um, you'll see them across campus going to different locations which is really cool. Um, they run for about from 6 a.m. to a little bit before midnight. Um, and then once they get a little bit before midnight, they head back to their home over at uh, near McDonald Residence Hall um, and they get charged up for the next day. So how do these robots get deliveries? How do they actually get a job? Within iPhone, Android, basically any smartphone, there's an app that you, uh, students can download, um, community members can download, and they actually can go through to all of our menus, pick their items. So you can drop the pin of where you'd like your food delivered. Um, once you drop that and hit go, the process starts. So we have our staff make the food, they um, place the uh, food inside of the robot. Once it's in the robot, it takes off. The robots are cool. They've got, they have six cameras. Um, they travel at a speed of about four to five miles per hour um, and they just go along their way. Um, they can sense if there's something around them. They can sense if something's wrong. Do you think that with BGSU offering this to the community and students, do you think other universities and other communities such as Toledo, Finley, should really hop on this train of having delivery robots? Yeah, I think it's great. Uh, I think it's something that a lot of universities could look into. Um, I know we're lucky because we actually are partnership with um, Charwell's Higher Education and Starship are the two groups that kind of came together and helped um, facilitate that relationship. So we're lucky enough to be one of those partnerships. Um, but it's definitely something that, um, from my own personal opinion, uh, it's something that I would definitely encourage because I do think that this has really valuable. Sometimes people just want to go and pick up their food and like that's kind of how I am. But every once in a while, I'll admit that I take advantage to, of the coffee meeting me halfway to where I know I'm going. So um, it's definitely something that I would encourage uh, continue to work on and also just um, some excitement to bring to a campus.